Oh, welcome back, folks. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Just finished clearing this out. Uh, let's see how much inventory space I have. I got a little bit of inventory space. I just looted that. So let's... Um, I think I looted everything over here. There's nothing really in the safe. Edwina's Terminal. Let's take a look at this. Uh... Here are prime salt and candor right under the nose of the cyber fox tossers. <clears throat> Took over an abandoned school, turned into our makeshift fortress. Lads are buzzing. We can't wait to give those pistol gang wankers a taste of their own medicine. Oh, and guess what? We've also seized control of the dilapidated windmill building. I already cleared that out. Okay. Turning up the heat. Making progress nonstop since we set foot in the school turn barricade. Get our hands on serious fire curse every new digs. Boys been training day and night, itching scrape. And that windmill spot proved to be a real game changer. Gives us a bird eye view of the entire turf. Sweet, sweet victory. Victory sweet. We hit some of the local shops. Camden Hard, Conno off guard, bunch of amateurs. School became launch pad, fortress, war room. I would hit them. Today's the day. Oh. Well, that was kind of a nasty little revelation. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. And no, I don't want any of that. Did look through most of this though, didn't I? Oh, tickets. Silver. Take silver, of course. I don't think there was anything really to speak of over here. School terminal, we'll look at it. Post rate, my homework. Thank you for the assignment. Our current our extension help us me my detention. Alright, well, probably stuff I don't really need to worry about at this point. Okay, yeah, I did. I got all of that. Uh, quick look around. Locked lunch pail. Anything worthwhile in it? No, a gourd. Alright. Got the turret. Much of anything over here. Big chest didn't have anything in it to speak up. Or maybe it did, I don't remember. I'll take a combat rifle. Whoa! Ah, here's another triumph of Kira the Adventurer. 
Oh. What in the world's down here? Used to use these places to brainwash kids. Hmm. What is this? This is a basement that I was not aware of. Okay. Well, come on, Kara. Let's go down here and take a look around. Right, I don't need to do this with those. Well, there's not much down here, but... Take that. Take that. Oh, heck yeah, take all of this. Anything back this way? Doesn't look like it. No. Just a collapsed floor. Alright. Wow, well, we, well, what's this? Oh. This is a bunker. Can't seem to get into it. So that begs the question, is there some other way to get down in there? I don't see any other way down. That's out to Camden. All right. Kira? Time to leave. Yeah, I see those security doors down underneath there. It just makes me think there might be a pin door or something like that underneath it. But obviously the door doesn't open up enough. So I don't know if that's just something they didn't uh, add to their, uh, to their program or they're planning to do it and just never got back to it. Or they just like to tease me, which could be, uh, which could all be uh, valid. All right. Uh... Thinking night. All right, let's reload. Don't like running around at night. All right, let's uh, let's go. East, north, and over. That's what we're, 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 the way we're going to do it. Yeah, these are residents. There's a, is there a bridge? It doesn't look like a bridge crosses here. Let's just go up to the intersection make a right. Oh, 
Maybe it does go across. It doesn't look like there's a way across. Maybe, maybe there is. Can't see. Come on, jump, jump. How did I... Where am I? Come on. Come on. Doc! Alright. Fast travel, but I guess I gotta fast travel. Given the message I saw on uh, Edwin's Edwina's terminal, I would suspect that we're going to get a large hooligan attack on uh, the pistols and Cyberfox when I get back. One of them meeting tonight. It's interminable with this. Shit. We've been traveling together a while now. I think it's time I asked you a crucial question. Imperatively important, my affable accomplice. Have you thought about what sort of psychic you want to be? <laughs> oh. oh dear. How tremendously dull. You see, I've been thinking. Can you sing, psychic? Um... Um. Who oh, wow, else? Stop. And what about poetry writing? Um. I'll put you down as acceptable. Perhaps we can nab some Homer and Euripides to polish you up. You see, I've been thinking. I may have some use for you as a sort of traveling bard. Ah. Composing good. poems about my exploits and such, you know? Um... Aha! The future chapters of the adventures of Kira! There is much to come. I haven't forgotten the mystery of the gold bars for a start. Then there's the crown jewels begging to be nicked sometime. And the secrets of the monarchy to uncover. Not to mention aliens and angel and everything in between. Just you watch. The secrets of the world sit before us, and Kira is here to crack them wide open. But one step at a time. We have other matters to settle first. They are my feats of daring do, of course. Venturing through abandoned places, uncovering the lost treasures of our fallen world. Braving the fortresses of the Gentry establishment, liberating precious goods from their baleful grasp. But most of all, there are the secrets. The strange mysteries uncovered in dark enclosures, on ancient terminals, 
and even lurking in the shadows of the corridors of power. If you wanted normality, you've chosen the wrong hero to follow. Kira the Treasure Hunter will not be bound by convention, norms, established wisdom, or anything approaching common sense. Those are mental barriers to seeing through to the true secrets of the world. Snap the bars apart, tear through the locks, and snatch the treasure of truth from within! <laughs> Don't get too cocky. Just try to keep a note of all the amazing things I say or do. Alright? I appreciate it. Well, she's a little bit of a romantic. Alright, let's see. Where do I need to get to? Uh, this way. That pounding yeah, music again. I'm skeptical at first, but the polycule might be the way to go. They. Um. We seem to get on better the less we see each other. All right. Um. Weapons check. Weapons are good. Oh goodness. All right, let's see. Back downstairs. Lucky. 
So much was destroyed in the Great War, but somehow a water pump in Camden survived. We quickly realized how important that would be and a coalition was organized. Over the years, that one pump was expanded into a proper waterworks. Food comes from our hydroponics facility. Palmira Romero can tell you more about that. The gentry rolled in with their Tommy thugs a few years before I was born. Our security forces are strong. We believe we have the right to defend ourselves. However, we were no match for them. It was an unwinnable battle, but make no mistake, we didn't just roll over. We gained our fair share of concessions. As long as we pay our tithe, the gentry have no say in our internal operations. Unfortunately, sometimes they forget this, but I won't go into that now. So, are you interested in becoming a member of the Pistols? Um, sure, why not? Splendid. Each potential member is required to... To start, I'd like you to speak to Palmira Romero and Captain Reasonable. They've both been having issues. Maybe you can help them? It's best to let... Palmira works in... The Captain should be around Camden Town Station. It's as much for you as it is for... Think of this as a trial run. You don't need to agree with all of us, ideologically, on everything. Blimey, that would be impossible. However, there are some fundamentals we do need to agree on. We need to see that you're committed to our broader goal, forging a new, just and equal society for all. We need to be sure you're not just here to check something off a list or for a discount on goods. Oh, I am here just to check off oh. uh, things on a list. big fan of awkward silences. Let's chat, shall we? to get out of this building. So if I pump my intelligence to 10, I might be able to get her to, to sign it for trickery. So, all right, we we know what we got to do in Camden. Um, hmm. let's see if we can find a place to either rest, sit, because uh, I do want to, uh, I do want to sell off any extra gear. Like it's getting gets. Getting daylight. Let's see, we want to go to let's go back to the market. Let's 
Let's see if we can find someone that will, uh... Sell stuff, too. Market is... Over here. How did... Yeah, right over here. Wait for the day to be over. Knackered. Well, they're still asleep. Doors aren't opening, okay. Alright, so I gotta probably wait till... Let's see, is she awake yet? Yeah, I was skeptical at first, but the polycule might be the way to go. We seem to get- Hello there, traveler! Do you like tea? My name's Rosie Lee, and I own this tea shop. Um. I have a little story for you if you have a minute. When I was a little sprog, my mum used to make a special tea from a type of nettle that only grows in Deptford. You know the old bus garage? Around there? Unfortunately, my mum disappeared one day when she was out with our dog Fluffy. So Dad, me and the sis moved back to Camden. Things were great till Daddy sucked on the end of a revolver. Never made any of the nettle tea since. Kinda hard memories of it all. You get me? But boy, oh boy, do I remember that taste. Anyways, I want to expand my menu and sell this special tea. But I need someone to go to Deptford and gather some of those nettles for me. Can you help me with that? Uh, sure. Why not? Five should be enough to start with. Thank you so much. I can't believe we've got another meeting tonight. It's interminable with this shit. Um, hey. Hey there, you're back. Are those nettles poking out of your pockets, or are you just pleased to see me? <sighs> just let me know when you have them. Hello. What can I do for you? Mostly a cleanup after all the pistols who drag mud in from the streets. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get hairspray stains out of fabric? Crazy. Who the fuck are you? Sorry. Hmm. Well, this didn't help me any. I picked up a quest, but uh, it's not really what I wanted to do. sell stuff. Not now, it's too early. And I'm too on over to talk about theory with you. store. Let's just go into the toy store. What 
can I help you find? Take a look. Farewell. Back out to Camden. I need to find someone that can sell me ammo, too. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a situation where I need to just bounce back to one of the other uh, the other locations. Or I could, I could nah, maybe, no, I should, I should find some place here in Camden where I can uh, sell and purchase weapons and things like that. Got to be somebody. It's not going to be in a toy store, obviously. So this makes sense. I'll have to convince the other, probably do do events for the, the other two sponsors to get them to sponsor me, become a pistol. Once I become a pistol, then possibly I can get her to, uh, to sign the petition. I only have to do it with two other, two other um, groups, Islington and uh, La is it Lambden. No, not not Lambden. Well, where in the world did, uh, Kira go? All right. There she is. Here we go. Had an absolute skinful last night. That bog system gin is tastier than you imagine. But that taste is a trap. My tonsils have second degree chemical burns. Nice to meet you. I'm Raymond, although most around here call me Captain Reasonable. 
Nice to meet you. I'm... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, classic British politeness loop there. It's actually pretty simple. There's a cache of guns in a police station in Lewisham. Need you to hop over there and fetch them for me. Sound doable. Or even throw in a monkey to make it worth your while. Game. I'll even sign you an endorsement. Far away, if you'll excuse the pun. That's the tragedy of it. They're ours. In fact, we've already paid for them several times, at considerable expense, I might add. I, uh, don't like to be rude about people, but the previous council leader, Malcolm Rhodes, was a reprehensible scumbag. Oh, he was. Malcolm was playing a little game, you see. He told the council he needed a discretionary budget for sundry expenses. Off the record, he'd tell us it was to sidestep the gentry blockade. He was insistent we use non-local arms dealers, which honestly sounded reasonable given the gentry supply cap. The problem was, every time we bought a shipment from the black market, They'd fail in the field. As you can imagine, a lot of fights about failure to... Ouch. Sorry there. I was talking to him. You can taste the first pint on my lips already. How can I help you? It's actually pretty simple. There's a cache of guns in a police station in Lewisham. Need you to hop over there. Or even throw in a monkey to make... Far away. That's the tragedy. I, uh, don't like to be rude. Oh, he was. Off the record, the problem was, every time we bought a shipment from the Black Mo it got pretty hairy. A few scars in the group from that period. But there was Malcolm in the middle, breaking it up, playing peacemaker. What would we do without you? The slippery fucker. If you told me, I'd never have believed you. I had to see it with me own eyes. Turns out, he was getting Mark Gormley, our former chief of security, to sneak them out of the armory. Not only was he embezzling money from the locals, he was actively arming our rivals to enrich himself. Unfortunately, it is. Uh, nobody's serious. The station wasn't occupied, originally. We used to use it for drop-offs. Relatively defensible. The last drop didn't go well. Long story short, the guns are in pristine condition, but locked in the chief's office. Legend? Hmm. Okay, let's, uh...
Let's go to London. And we'll see where Lewisham is. I've not even been in this location. I have to figure out how to get there. Where's the other one? What's the other one was? Okay. We'll do both of those. Let's try to go to the crash station, the, the train crash, and go to the uh, Deptford bus garage first. How am I doing time wise? First place I'm going to go to is the Thames Haven Market. I want to buy bullets for the uh, submachine gun. I'm getting low on ammunition for the uh, for the submachine gun, and that seems to be a go-to weapon for uh, medium-level uh, bad guys. I'd also like to maybe change the scope out on the. Uh, on the zap rifle. I, I think the long scope is not helping me much. Just too hard to use given the type of fighting I'm doing. That the sun is one fresh dry neck. What are you buying? You're keen, aren't you? Take a look at what I have in stock. I can buy a lot of... Let's not buy all of it. Let's buy, like, 100 rounds. Sell him a thousand here. I don't see me ever using this. Oh, back. Get rid of these combat rifles. A bunch of junk here I probably ought to get rid of. A lot of junk I need to drop too. Alright, uh, we got 400 left. Let's come back here.
Let's go for... Good on shotgun shells here. Yeah, I'm good on shotgun shells. Okay, let's accept this. Oh, sorry about that, human. Maybe I'll keep the long scope. It helps me with, with fats. I don't think I can do anything to this. Until I'm higher level gun level. Actually, I think I'm as good as I'm going to get on this. Go a quick eject magazine. I need oil. What if I go to semi-automatic? Nah, keep it full automatic. It's been working for us. This, um... Hang on to that. The surface world gets louder and louder each day. Let's go down to the dock. We'll spend 80 caps here. Need help? Let's take a look at you. Get rid of my rads. 80 caps is cheaper than using a uh, take right away. Care. What time is it? 5.57 p.m. What I should have done. Kara, where are you? Come here. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Come on, Kara. Come over here. In here, sweetheart. Come on. Some shinies to hand over. Yes, I understand that. Ferryman, let me uh, sell some more stuff here. Or at least break it down. Your cunt does have two minds, right? Yes, shut up. 
That's worth a ton of money. I can see where heavy weapons could get really nasty. I don't want to sell this or scrap it. I'm going to keep this. I know it's very heavy. Kira, where are you? Come here. You got anything else on you? heavy machine gun here. You know, tell you what, come on back. Let's, let's, like doing it inventory wise. Five. What time is it? Twenty-five. Okay, let's sleep, let's sleep here. gone way long on this. So what we'll do is we'll pick this up next time. We'll go and get the nettles. Uh, then um, we'll pick up the nettles for the tea. Then we'll go back to uh, Biggin Hill, drop off all the junk and the machine gun, and then look to see about getting into the uh, police station. So thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a terrific day.